Hello again, friends. Welcome to week 15 of How Not to Diet Book Club. We read pages 421 through 450, starting at the section on habit formation and stopping at intermittent fasting. Dr. Greger asks, how many days does it really take to um, form a new habit? And research shows it is an average of 66 days. So we've got to hang in there for at least two months with our new habits. Um, Dr. Greger focused on the work of Dr. James Clear. I don't know if he's a doctor, but James Clear in his um, research in his book, Atomic Habits. Um, I'm very grateful that I signed up for Robin's book club with uh, Atomic Habits so that it'll go into great detail because frankly, rationalization is the fiery dragon that's standing in the way of me making um, progress and good habits. And uh, Dr. Greger just kind of skimmed over it lightly of how to eliminate bad habits and how to form new good habits. So I want to delve into this in a lot more detail. But basically, uh, we want to resist rationalization. Uh, we need to decide what we want to change, a small thing, when we're going to do it, where we're going to do it, and how we will know if we did it. And he, he talks about tracking things. Um, our brains like to play tricks on us and lead us into rationalization. <clears throat> One of them is the what the heck syndrome where, oh, I blew it, I might as well just eat the whole bag of cookies now. <clears throat> indulge ourselves or the self-licensing oh I worked so hard I deserve this piece of pizza um, we want to make a plan for our good habit prepare for it and implement it one of the most crucial habits that we need to form in order to have great health is to drink enough clear clean water to lubricate all of these moving parts that we have in our bodies. Um, water that came down from the mountain or down from the river has all kinds of organic matter in it. And so of course it goes to water purification plants and they put a lot of chlorine in there and other disinfectant byproducts, over 600 disinfectant byproducts that we need to try to clean out before we drink it. Um, in the United States, about 40% of the households have some type of water purification system. Uh, there are water filters in your refrigerator or pitchers that have filters in them. Um, the GE Whirlpool refrigerator ones uh, clean out about 96% of the schmutz out of the water. Um, our drinking water, the pitchers were a little bit uh, less effective. The zero water pitcher filter cleaned out about 93% of the gunk out of the water, but Brita um, overall cleaned out only about 50% of the junk out of the water. So I, I have been buying reverse osmosis water from the store and Dr. Greger does not recommend that because yes, it does clean out a lot of the gunk out of the water, but it also cleans out the trace minerals that we need and is, it is expensive. So I'll be just using my refrigerator GE water filter from now on. Um, the next habit that we want to develop is reducing inflammation. Um, the foods that we eat cause inflammation and inflammation causes pain. Inflammation causes disease in our body. And so we don't want to be putting uh, poisons in our body that are going to make us hurt. Um, the most inflammatory foods that we can eat are meat, dairy, and junk food. 
those raise inflammation levels immediately. Um, we want to get rid of those. The most anti-inflammatory foods are fiber-rich fruits, vegetables, whole intact grains, and legumes. Um, C-reactive protein is a measurement of the inflammation in your body and a healthy range would be between zero and three. Mine was much higher than that when I started a whole food plant-based diet and I've been able to bring that down dramatically. My brother Chip was really concerned because his C-reactive protein uh, number was 16, which is a heart attack waiting to happen. And that motivated him to go to True North and do a 10 day water only fast and then transition into a whole plant food diet, um, salt, oil, and sugar free for six weeks. And within just those few weeks, his numbers, his CR, C-reactive protein went from 16 down to 0 0.03, um, which is no chance of a heart attack. Just a few weeks, Food is medicine, if you eat the right food. And which foods are the most beneficial for reducing inflammation? Goji berries. And you can get them online, but I bought them in the grocery store too. Um, tomatoes reduce inflammation uh, dramatically, turmeric, and nutritional yeast. I was surprised, only two teaspoons of nutritional yeast during the day reduced inflammation dramatically. The great news is we can change. We can eliminate bad habits, develop good habits, um, check into YouTube because for free you can listen to the whole Atomic Habits book um, on YouTube or you can watch the little videos that I have listed. We can develop the habit of drinking clear, healing water every day. At least one cup per hour that we are awake. And um, we can eat our nine servings or more of fruits and vegetables, our whole grains, and our legumes so that we build a, a less painful, uh, more flexible life I want to create happy, healthy habits for a strong, long life. And we can change. We can do it. So remember, you matter. You matter to me. And never give up. I'll see you next week. Bye.